0.37 AU of point from the sun, which AU is basically the distance from the sun to the earth. Oh, so an astronomical unit. So instead of saying millions of miles, you want me to say astronomical units? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a lot easier. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, Okay, so it was discovered a long time ago in 3000 BC by the Sumerians. And the reason why it was found so long ago is because you can see it with the unaided eye. So it, like, it was discovered like right away, essentially. Shows it compared to Earth. Yeah. Okay, so its rotation in orbit, it takes uh, 59 Earth days to spin on its axis and 88 days to go around the sun. Uh, it orbits at 105,947 miles per hour. Here's a video of the orbit. <coughs> of mercury is like very cold and very hot. It ranges from negative 173 Celsius to 427 Celsius, which is negative 279.4 Fahrenheit to 800. And it's like the greatest temperature range of like, like all the planets. Throughout the whole solar system. Yep. <laughs> okay, so there's two satellites that have visited Mercury. One of them, Mariner 10, and it did that in 1974 through 1975. Another one is Messenger in 2011. Mm, I just did my weight age. So my weight on Mercury, which right now is 115, or 100, uh, 100 weight would be 37.8. And for my ver for 17, it would be around 72 days or years. So if you're wait a minute, how old are you right now? Seventeen. So if you lived on Mercury this entire time, you'd be almost seventy-four years old. Yep. But only one hundred eleven days old. Yeah. Crazy. Oh yeah. So a few oddities is that it's the second hottest planet, even though it's like the closest to the sun, which is kind of weird. And then it also has a uh, flat bottom depressions or hollows, which is kind of like craters. And then uh, a few more fun facts is that it's named after the messenger god. And then, and then also it takes more fuel to reach Mercury than it takes to launch, to leave the solar system. Hmm. Can you explain that? Be it's because like, because like once you enter like the sun area, it gets like a lot harder. Oh, to so we're fighting this. Oh, crazy. Okay, then any questions? Why is it the second hottest when it's the closest? Um, we might have to let Venus yeah. Yeah. tell us that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd think it would be the hottest, wouldn't you? Um, you can talk a little bit about what it doesn't have. Oh, so it doesn't have an atmosphere, which is why it's like extremely hot, so yeah. Thank you.
Venus. This is not Venus. <laughs> no. That's Venus. Look at those vivid colors. Hello, guys. Should we introduce ourselves again? Yeah, I mean, we can. I'm Violet Bird. I'm Tanya. This Hi. is Venus. Yes. This is a, it's a nice plan. Okay. Oh, and I forgot my card. <laughs> Proceed. Okay, it will not feel like you're leaving Earth at all because Venus is considered the sister planet of Earth because they are so much alike in size. And with its east and west opposites, the sun would rise in the east on Earth and set in the west, but on Venus it rises in the west and sets in the east. Isn't it? Okay, one Earth day would be 243 Venus days. and this is the one planet where the day is longer than a year, so it takes longer to go around, no, it takes longer to orbit its axis than it does to go around the sun. And it is the second planet from the sun. Have you ever wanted, wanted to cough up a lung? <laughs> well, on Venus, this is possible because the atmosphere is 96% carbon dioxide. It's a thick atmosphere, and so this is why it is um, this is why Mercury is not the hottest planet, because it doesn't have a very noticeable atmosphere compared to Venus, which does. It traps all the heat in, too. Yeah. Well, let's see. And the air pressure compared to Earth is almost like nine times it down here. So that's that. very interesting as well. <clears throat> Do you despise the changing seasons on Earth, especially in Minnesota? On your vacation, you'll be free of the fall leaves and the building of igloos because it, does, it is not, it's not tilted. The planet is straight up and down. I'm sorry. So there are no seasons. It, the, the seasons just don't exist. It's the same all year. Yes. Okay. Have you ever wanted to be closer to the sun? You can take a one-day trip to Venus, but don't be disappointed on Venus. It is 243 Earth days, as I mentioned before. Since Venus is the second planet from the sun, you will be 25.72 million miles closer to the widely known star. So satellites. Venus has no satellites. What, we, what astronomers would refer to satellites would be moons to most commoners, unless you take astronomy and yeah. Um, it is a terrestrial planet, meaning it's rocky, um, like the gas giants, which are mostly made out of gas and like other objects. And if you love the smell of sulfur, then head to Venus. <laughs> Why is it very sulfury there? Because of the recent eruption. That's See that? I mean, that's not Venus, but. When we say recent, it was like thousands of years ago, but that's still pretty recent. Talking rel it. relatively recent to the formation of the universe. Well, the Solar and you will become very beautiful as when you vi visit this planet as it is named after the Roman goddess of beauty and love. Other facts. So if you were 100 pounds, if, I mean, nobody weighs 100 pounds, but if you were 100 pounds on Earth, you would weigh 91 pounds on Venus. So 90, well, Venus has 91% of the gravity <coughs> that Earth does. If you were a 17-year-old, you'd be roughly 27 years old there, and... I just guesstimated what most of you guys might be at 40, and you guys would be 71. <laughs> it is also the, the brightest object in the sky, excluding the moon and the sun. Yes. So That's why you can see it with the unaided eye. And it can melt lead on surface, where because it's so hot, which is crazy. 863 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. It's crazy. It is also 0.723 astronomical units for the sun to see the... The Earth is one, so it's not quite there. It's just yeah. It spins at seventy-eight thousand three hundred forty-one miles per hour around its axis. And the diameter is seven seven thousand five hundred twenty point eight miles. And we wanted to be very mathy and do the circumference as well, and that would be twenty-three thousand six hundred twenty-eight miles. It is the fifth largest planet, so it's you know not not the it's. Not about halfway, but it's smaller. Almost. Yeah. So yeah, that's Venus. 
Any question? What was the temperature on that? 863 degrees. It barely changes. Celebrate? No, that's Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. So the day is longer than a year. Longer than a year. <coughs> so when the sun rises then, in Earth days, it doesn't set for like a hundred some Earth days. Basically, yeah. That's crazy. Correct. Huh. Weird. And it's the only planet that does that, so it's an oddball. And were you guys telling me earlier that it spins... Yeah, you just said that earlier, that the sun actually rises in the west. Yeah, and not the, in the east. Yeah. When yeah. it does rise and when it does set. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it spins counter to the rest of the planets. Yep. Like if you look on a clock, it's a counterclockwise, basically. Do you do a, well, why? Do we know why? No. Oh. Do you know why? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, they think probably way back in the day, you know, there were still a lot of big objects floating around even when these planets got to be the size they are. And a fairly significantly sized chunk of stuff hit Venus and kind of set it so it's spinning in a counter physics manner around the sun. Um, and so that's, that's why. Shoot, sorry, I thought you guys told me that earlier. That's because it's kind of So that means it's going to change? Um, I don't think so. It's and unless maybe it's really slowing, really slowing down, really slowing down, and then eventually maybe it will become tidally locked with the sun. I wonder if it will change when the Earth starts, or not the Earth, the sun starts like eating the planets. <laughs> well, we'll worry about that when we get to the star. Here. Okay. <laughs> I have a question. Yep. Yeah. Can you go back a slide? Um, this one? Uh, yeah, there. Yeah. The, that number. 78,341 miles an hour, what is that? Yeah, uh, spitting around its That's the orbit. orbit. It, that's the speed of the orbit. Yeah. Not yeah. The Did I, oh, I'm right. sorry. Yeah, no, it's the rotation's time. really, really slow. Yeah. 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 I just looked it up, it's 4.05 miles per hour. Yeah. Cool. That's how fast it's rotating. Oh, yeah, that's sorry. very slow. It's really, really slow. But it's going fast enough. So. Yeah. yeah. That's really good. That's why a day's longer than a year. Interesting stuff. Any more questions? No? Okay. Um, we figured we don't need to talk about her. Yeah. <laughs> no one likes her. So we're skipping her. Um, Mars? You want me to beat for you? You want to stand up and talk? I'll run your... Yeah! <laughs> Let's a go. Let's All do right. this thing. All right. I hope log in. Oh, you have to log in. You have to log in. You have to log in. Find a box. You got a fuzzy, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>